Hello and welcome to Loving Belize. My name is Rose Robin and I'm biking all the way around Belize, interviewing people from all walks of life. I want to find out what Belizeans think of contemporary Belize. I'm also going to be giving free art workshops in rural towns and teaching the children how to do stop animation so they can share their feelings too. I believe the international media has been putting down Belize for far too long and I want to give the world an opportunity to see, yes, the beautiful keys of Belize, yes, the amazing traditions and food and culture, but also just how beautiful and amazing the people of Belize are. That every Belizeans who live in Toledo, whether they are Mayas or not, we are poor people and we need assistance to, to, to develop ourselves. We also need assistance to assist us how to develop ourselves. Because if you look at this road, it's 20 something mile mm -hmm. and there is nothing in it except a couple of houses and a couple of corn fields. You know, we need to do cattle, we need to do goats, we need to do sheep, we need to do agriculture in a whole. And, and, and that's what, what I wish. That was my aim when I become an ear representative. I was very young mm -hmm. and I'm a little older now and I still would like to see it done. I want to tell you the last thing. I'm one of the few politicians in the whole world that never steal. Otherwise, I'd be working today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to know who said Creole no gun no culture. Was it about what kind of a story you want to do? In the zoo? That's a brilliant idea. Is, are these ones further away and this one's close? Like that? <laughs> Go, 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 I am oh, a bee. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm Tinkerbell. Oh, Whee! This is my farm. You hi, pretty Hello. lady. Let's go on top. Awesome! Oh, look at that zebra. Awesome! Oh, oh, yeah. Lord, I'll go get the gun. Do 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 do. Extractions. What are extractions? Uh, my name is Jorge Luis Gonzalez Acosta. Where are you from? From the U.S. Originally born and raised in Virginia, U.S. Marine Corps. A few in the Prowse. Uh, I'm doing basically self-assessment and hum humanitarian assistance. When I was deployed in Afghanistan, 2011, it's the same thing except it's a little bit different because the people here are outgoing and they're easy to talk to and no one's angry at you like over there. Uh, my name is Sergeant Joseph Shutta, United States Marine Corps. I'm here as part of uh, New Horizons Belize. It's a joint uh, operation between the American Belizean governments, United States Marine Corps, Air Force and Army. We're here discussing the humanitarian assistance, disaster relief in case of an emergency for the Belizean government, any help we can offer them. We call it civil affairs in the Marine Corps. Uh, it's getting to know the local leadership, the local people, culture, custom, uh, everything about the country that you can learn civilly as far as their civil system, their uh, infrastructure, how everything works, who the people you want to get to meet, uh, the mayors, you know, government officials and such. Uh, it's the first time doing that. Yes, uh, they try to make this an annual uh, training mission between the United States and Belize, but also other countries as well. They do free medical, dental, veterinary clinics uh, throughout the world, actually. Well, we're starting later. 3.30? No, no, like 2.45. Bye. Very good. Very good. 
ilusiones se metió en tierra la pache Poniéndose de uno en uno sumando un kilo de roche Lo próximo cosa que pasa en el tiempo las borras ya sabes no van Está chica por chino del toro ya sabes tan grande como el de Barán ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Renalyn Chelsea ¿Cómo es tu nombre? ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Shanaya Chun What's your full name? Alfred Monson What's your full name? Melissa What's your full name? Luis Rodriguez What's your full name, Susan? Have you forgotten? What's your full name? Aha! Oi! What's your full name? A bike? That's a very good idea. A bicycle. That's a fantastic idea. Go ahead. No littering. Brilliant idea. Who can do that? You. You're not doing anything. You're just standing there. Come here. Huh? Miss. It's a good start. She was born 1979 in Britain. Her main occupation as an artist is a muralist and sometimes commissioned to do portraits. She has painted murals across the globe, from Central America to USA to Europe. She has been traveling for the past seven years and has recently decided to put down her roots for a few years here in our humble town. Her name is Rose Robin, better known as the Painting Parrot. You may have seen her painting a mural at St. Peter Claver School, but as her introduction stated, she is much more than just a painter. Today we caught up with her to find out a little more. I'm uh, traveling all over Central America. I'm actually biking. I have a bike and a trailer. And I go from village to village. And I basically volunteer and teach kids how to do different projects like uh, stop animation or a mural. And this uh, mural you know, was sponsored by uh, a hardware store in PG. Um, it's called Best Hardware <laughs> yeah, okay. and um, so yeah basically I go to schools I tell them what I'm doing and the non-profit that I'm working with is called the Painting Pirates Club okay so um how do you find the work working with the kids here in Belize you know what the kids are fantastic um, sometimes they need a little bit of uh, you know persuading yeah. uh, to, to do something creative but then, you know, uh, if you say yes, you can, you go on, you know, and eventually they come out and they, they all do something beautiful and amazing. My name is Joyce Paul. I, I sponsor the mural at St. Peter Claver School, sponsored by my family called Mr. Ball. And our business establishment is Best Hardware Art from the Farm Call you fish? Yeah, fish. That's my nickname. <laughs> yeah, what do people do here? Make money? Yeah, to make money to yeah, live with. Farming, work. gardening, they go fishing. How many families live here? Like like 40, 40 families. 40 families? But are, are they related? Yeah. As well? Most, most. Yeah, most, you know. Red Cliff, uh -huh. all the way up. Yeah, but the, you see, it road, it wash away, so now. We're all the way here. Oh. <laughs> you guys heard about the temple? Where they beat drums and um, the worship the ancestors. And no, no. Cool. Well, like the ancestors usually coming back into the people, you know, and talk, you know, communicate with the dead. You know, they usually have ceremonies here during the month, I think, of July. You know, people come from all about families. Usually goes by family. Like a family holds the dugu. It's called the dugu. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really a priest. It's a leader who who the spirit communicate to. 
You know, he's called the Bouye. Uncle, you're the run the place right now? Hello. Well, I'm in charge of it. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the museum. Well, okay, you come, come right ahead. Then. Maybe you could explain to them. No, no, you explain. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. My name's Ray. My name's Rose Robin. Nice to meet you. Uh, excuse me? My name's Rose. Rose? Okay, that was simple. <laughs> it's a bibliography of Grenifino literature. Teaching. I had come to Belize to learn to make brooms. I make brooms, so I study brooms. Uh, history of the Garina. Ah, yes, here it sounds like this. At some point in time, there was a, a shipwreck off the coast of St. Vincent that um, uh, people that were intended to be slaves went came ashore and they mixed with the uh, the Caribs or uh, Arawaks and uh, from that developed this what's now the Granifana culture which is basically a, a, a black people but that are in considered indigenous people and the Granifanas came here even to the Dongriga area, Belize ended at the Sibun River. It didn't go all the way down to the Sarstoon, so this was not even part of Belize. And some, I mean, they argued about it perhaps and that, but it wasn't officially part of Belize. And Guatemala still claims this end of Belize right now. I guess the new Guatemalan passports have now got Belize included in it. And the government of Belize yeah. now is saying that we're not going to let anybody in the country that has a passport that has Belize part of Guatemala. The Grenifinas were the school teachers in the country for a long period of time, which has got to do with uh, racism and slavery in the sense that Creoles didn't want to go to rural areas because they thought of that as being part of slave times for them. Whereas the Grenifinas didn't care in that sense of the words, it didn't bother them. Uh, they didn't have that baggage. Yeah. Many people in this village that can speak four or five languages because of their having gone out or having grown up with their parents going out to these various communities learning Kitschi and Mopan and Spanish and English and Korean. Yeah. The insults that you, they throw at Grenifinas, those damn PhD Grenifinas. From this village here has got lots of people with PhDs and masters and bachelors. When I first came here to the Prime Minister was George Price who said we don't want to be a nation of tray carriers and he was not for very much for tourism. Well now Belize has become very much of a tourist destination and I think people now perceive this as a fun place to come to, a place to lay back you know with the three S's, sun, sex, and sand. Um, it's, it's owned either by, as I said, by you know foreigners or by top dog Belizeans to get uh, people to come look at the Grenifinas uh, because they're kind of cute and quaint and they do these uh, dances and they play drums and that kind of thing but it's it's just something that basically is for them to make a bunch of money off of but if you're interested in sort of learning some things about uh, different people and uh, that you can find those kind of things out I mean, I've gotten off an airplane, gotten into a taxi cab and say, take me to a broom maker, you know, and after you finally convince them that you're for real, um, <laughs> you then can, do, you know, you do end up doing different things. I ended up in Jamaica helping kill a cow and taking it to market and doing, you know, most tourists that go to Negrel never do that. Um, they probably don't want to do that. What's but this? You brought this book out as well. What's oh, that? no, this is just here. This is a picture of me on the cover. of Uh-huh. This is a book about uh, craftsmen and uh, musicians in North Carolina. I don't think I actually got your name, so what's your Carlson name? Carlson Tuttle. Carlson Tuttle. Carlson. Carlson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure and to meet so, you. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> My name is Emmett Young. I'm originally from a little village called Gillespine, Manati. Now I live in Punta Gorda town. Um, I have a jump school here in Punta Gorda, the Maroon Creole Jump School. And I am a jump maker, uh, also a jump teacher, teach kids to play the jump and teach them how to make jump.
you can either buy jump from us it would help to promote our jump school and help to keep the kids off of the street because I work with the youth them I teach them to make the jumps and to play the jumps and so if you buy jump from us you are uh, automatically giving a kid a job because the youths uh, you know they make the jumps and sell them and this is a way how they make income and through the Maroon Creole Jump School uh -huh. I also have a band called the Talawala Vibration Band which all the people that play with me in my band are my students I've been teaching them for seven years Cab Jimbe Jump out of uh, the national tree I believe the mahogany we make from mahogany jimbe we make also cedar jimbe and we make jimbe also out of emery these are hardwood from Belize and we use quality goat skin and professionally rope please order from us and your money would be going to a good cause Jack Nightingale, uh, born in southern Rhodesia in 1943 and uh, taken back to England at the end of the Second World War where I was raised. I had a five-year training in England as an aircraft electrician. When I finished that I went to study modern dance and I became a professional dancer and I danced in New York City with the Paul Taylor Dance Company. Then got a Peace Corps job in El Salvador and taught dance there. While I was there I took a vacation here and fell in love with the place. My first family and I came here to live and we moved to the village of Barranca which is in the south of Fiji, about 12 miles south and that is about the furthest south you can go. In 1981 uh, an event happened here in Punta Gorda which didn't make us feel too comfortable so we Actually, it helped us make a decision to move away for a while. Now I'm 23 years with my second family. We started afresh with nothing. Uh, no income, no nothing. So I've been there before, so it was just a case of repeat. World's economies are not going to stand the way they are. Uh, in fact, I don't think that's even being designed that way. So I think it's all going to fall apart at some point. I, I won't predict when, when that happens things are going to fall back into more local economies. Fortunately, dry fruit is food security. It's saved nutrition in a bag that you can save for quite a long time. Sustainable Harvest International is an NGO in Punta Gorda who are promoting organic farming. So they have growers in Trio. So through them, I encountered the growers. So what's the name of your company? Fruitful. There's a little motto to it that says, nothing added but the sun. No. Right. These are the dryers. Um, they're based on a simple wooden frame box that I built many, many years ago. And have <laughs> since sort of upgraded a little bit. There's an old one right over there. <laughs> You're relying on air. So you have air inside the box. It's black paint. The sun hits the black paint, heats it up. It uh -huh. absorbs the heat, gives it back out and heats the air. Heated air expands rises so we have the holes in the back so then the minute air escapes it pulls in air at the uh -huh. bottom back there my processors I'm not going to touch but uh, I think I can hold the lid have a taste Ooh, that's nice the best way to find out what it's all about I, let's say we're doing 45 pounds a week oh see yeah. Me pasa una cubeta para llevar agua del río para pagar. Agua. Me quiero pasar una cubeta para llevar agua del río para pagar juego. Ah, oh, sí, claro. Sí, yeah, 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 yeah. Hazlo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a fire, so she wants to borrow a bucket. Yeah. yeah. She couldn't carry through there again. What right. What would it do? Right. 
you know, there's just and not it, enough. And it burned all the way over there. Yeah. So what he could do is come through here. But you didn't lose anything today, did you? No, no. I was out chopping and saving bananas and uh, pineapples and, and so were the people in the, working in the factory. They came out and did it. Chopping. What's been going on is the land has been cleared. Uh, you clear the understory first and then you'd think about taking trees. Um, but when you take the understory, you get a lot of leaf litter. So as we see like a lot of forest fires get out of control here and the way they deal with it is by using machetes and running to the river and with buckets of water and I have heard that um, a lot of farmers have lost their farms this year I heard about three or four of them so this kind of thing can get out of control quickly ¿Cómo te llama? Um, Audelia Odelia, qué bonita, qué bonito el nombre. Odelia de Colman. Ah, y después, ¿cuánto tiempo viven aquí para allá? Tenemos die para 10 años. ¿Qué, ¿Qué haces aquí? Pescamos. Ya. Sí. sí. Ajá. Pescamos con mi esposo. Sí. ¿Es tu esposo? Benjamín Colman. Ajá. <ríe> eh, ¿Qué es esta, esta pez? Es. es um, pescado. Tapón, ¿y cómo, cómo lo preparan? Eh, lo puse sobre el humo. No, no, no. Eh, viene a Sastún. Ah. Eh, lado de Guatemala. Ajá, ok. Sí. Entonces viajamos 45 minutos. Ah, no, no es lejos. No. Oh, wow! Qué bonito. Y feliz, ¿sabes tú? Pobres. Exacto. Cinco profesionales. Ah. Entonces cuando ya todos crecieron, se fueron, nos quedamos solitos. Él se venía a pescar. Ajá. Y me dice, vamos, vamos, le dijo. <risa> Diez años con allá, yo de aquel lado porque él trabajaba, eh, mis hijos estudiaban. Ajá. Él se venía a pescar. Entonces ahora. ¿Qué, pues, ¿qué iba a ir a trabajar? Vamos sí. a ir a tirar a trabajar. Vamos. Sí. ¿No vas a poner botas? Yo canto para Dios. Ajá. Muy bonito. Yo quisiera hablarte del amor de Cristo. Pues en él hay un amigo fuerte y fiel. Por su gracia transformó mi vida entera. Lo que en esta vida soy lo debo a él. Nadie pudo amarme como Cristo. Es incomparable su amistad, solo él pudo redimirme del pecado, por su amor y su bondad. I will make you fish all and men, fish all and men, fish all and men. I will make you fish all and men if you follow me. <laughs> If you follow me, if you follow me, I'll be with you, if you follow me, if you follow me. Is this so? It's very red. Achote. Aha! Wow! Una vez un tigrito así, entró el gallinero. Las 5 de la mañana. ¡Guau! Wow, ¡Un chiquito! 
Um bebê? Não, não tem bebê. Ele matou 10 gaínas. Hum. Só ele mordeu a cabeça. Aí, ó. A celebrar 50 anos casado. 50 anos casado. Que bonito. 50 gaínas, 400 tamales, 300 libras de carne. Uau! I was 12 years old when my dad passed away. Was, uh, along with my dad, at the time when I was 12, you know, training me how to deal with machete, you know, how to deal with the farm, I decided to say, well, if my dad can do it, I must can do it too. Everything is possible in life. It really takes, you know, I had to think twice. You okay, know, it's me alone. Well, I realized my dad's spirit is like right beside me, and I realized I know I can do it. So that's ah, the water the, is the problem. What's the problem? Well, the water. Without no water, you know, I can't produce for the whole year. Because uh -huh. that's where, you know, in there is dry, 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 and no water. Mm -hmm. And you know, using water from the pump, from the house at the front, you know, make the water bill go high. It doesn't make any sense. The folks that do spraying, the uh, mosquitoes, you mm -hmm. know, and they have nothing to protect their face. So that's where you know he put he inhale the, the chemicals, and that's what causes the cancer. Right. Yeah. And he passed away at the age of 39. He had 12 to 13 acres oh, all the way wow. to the back. Yeah. Okay. You know, he doesn't have his chicken. He doesn't have his pigs to the back. He doesn't have. All the big trees that you see there, that's the remembrance of my dad. Okay, you know, he was the one that planted those trees and they're, you know, now they're bearing and we have many fruits during the year. Yeah. So much water. Oh, yeah, fantastic. I'm from Placencia, some of the um, restaurants. We decide to communicate a lot so that they you know that when they're ready, when they're ready, ready to, you know, to produce. And I already have to sell, they don't mind, you know. Give me a call and then we'll just send it on the plane or the easier way for them. Organic, which is the best way. Can you see the big difference between the organic? Mm -hmm. So they're so happy seeing me as a woman dealing with farming. But like what I told them, I thought farming is hard work, but you have to push towards it to make sure you reach where you want to reach. Mm -hmm. You know, one step at a time. Sometimes you feel depressed, sometimes you feel down, but you just got to be strong. You say, I thought you can make it. That's the reason I never give up. You know, sometimes I feel so down. Sometimes in my hammock at the back, you know. Thinking about that, I said to myself, Dad, why have you passed away? When I know you could have been here, we could be much more easier, but you're already gone, so I have to continue from there. So I just have to have his spirit right beside me and make sure I'm getting more stronger day by day. Brush flops, goggle and kit mint You couldn't spit it fresh, then you boy with lipstick A weed, what I need is a light, a vis drink A vis beat, a pen, and a pen, and fifth ink Rhymes incorporated by booze and ganja I've never tasted Okay, well then, you, you are immune <laughs> To malaria You think I'm immune? Yeah, you are immune, yes You have just malaria, you would have caught it from a long time Oh really? I think the mosquitoes, they don't like you 
Oh, okay. Yes. You live in college, chance it, march like Diva, but I don't more smoke it. Skinny, I joke it. Fresh, long time, and boy, I still swap it. Dopey, it's smashing vocal trash. A15, kiss my local ass. It's all about the beats, the food. The Iglesia, and here I am with the gente, eh, my compañero with the alcalde. Apoyamos football, eh, soccer. Mm -hmm. Fuimos eh, a visitar. Blue Creek, donde hay una plataforma. Una plataforma de. de petróleo. Ok. Petróleo. Eh, eh, uh, US Capital Energy, trabajar. Está, en estamos buscando, buscando. Pero, pero todavía no hemos sacado nada. Ajá. Sí. Ok.